Story 20 of Uncle Wiggily's Travels. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Phil Schempf. Uncle Wiggily's Travels by Howard Roger Garris. Story 20 Uncle Wiggily and the Milkman. Well, now I guess we're all ready for the story of the chicken who tried to roll an egg uphill and it fell down and was broken into forty eleven pieces and the monkey oh dear did you ever hear of such a thing i guess i must have turned over two pages in the storybook instead of one for tonight i'm going to tell you about uncle wiggily and the milkman and not about the chicken and the egg at all that comes in later let's see then we left the old gentleman rabbit just after he had met the phoebe birds didn't we well a few days after that, as Uncle Wiggily was hopping along with the elephant, who had come back to him again now and then, when he was tired, taking a ride on the back of the big fellow, all of a sudden they heard a voice crying, Aha! Now I have you! My, what's that? asked the old gentleman rabbit. It must be somebody after us, answered the elephant. But don't you be afraid, Uncle Wiggily. I'll take care of you and not let them hurt you. Just get behind me. So the rabbit got behind the big elephant, and would you believe it? You couldn't see Uncle Wiggily at all, not even if you were to put on the strongest kind of spectacles, such as Grandma wears, for he was hidden behind the elephant. Then, in another moment, a man with a long rope came bursting through the bushes, and he ran straight towards the elephant. Now I have you, cried the man again. You must come right back to the circus with me. Oh, it's you they want, not me, remarked Uncle Wiggily. And then he wasn't afraid any more, and felt better for he knew that he could still travel on and seek his fortune. Yes, they're after me, said the elephant sadly. I guess I'll have to leave you, Uncle Wiggily. Do you want me to go with you, Mr. Man? Yes, we want you back in the circus show. Will I have all the peanuts I want, asked the elephant. Oh, yes, promised the man. You'll have a bushel and a pint every day, besides a pail full of pink lemonade. Then I'll come, said the elephant, though I would like to have Uncle Wiggily come also, but he still has his fortune to find come and see me some time he called to the rabbit i will said uncle wiggily then the man tied a rope around the elephant's trunk and led him away and the big fellow waved and flapped his ears to the rabbit to say good-bye now i must travel all alone once more said uncle wiggily to himself as he hopped on through the woods and i do hope i find part of my fortune today even if it's only ten cents worth well he was passing across the nice green field a little while after that when all of a sudden he heard some voices talking he looked around, but he couldn't see anyone. He wondered if perhaps they were fairies about. Then he heard a voice say, Now, children, hop just as I do. Take a long breath, and then hop, and be very careful where you go. Then Uncle Wiggily looked down in the grass, and he saw a mamma hop toad and a whole lot of her little toads hopping along. The mamma toad was giving the little ones their morning lesson and i just wish you could have seen how nicely those tiny toads could hop one little chap named sylvester hopped over a big stone and his little sister named clarabella leapt over a stick with a nail in it and didn't get hurt a bit ha that is very good hopping very fine indeed cried uncle wiggily waving his ears back and forth i could hardly do better myself oh it's very kind of you to say so said the mamma toad now, children, give a big hop for Uncle Wiggily. Well, they all took long breaths, and they were just going to hop when the old gentleman rabbit suddenly called out, Look out! Hold on! Don't jump! They all stopped quickly, and Mama Toad wanted to know what was the matter. Why, there's a big cow walking along, said the rabbit, for he could see over the top of the grass better than could the toads, and could watch the big cow coming. If that cow stepped on you, why... You would never hop again, said the rabbit, and he led the toads out of danger. Oh, I'm ever so much obliged to you, said Mama Toad to the rabbit. You saved our lives. Then she had all the little toads thank the old gentleman rabbit, and the Mama Toad asked him to come to her house for dinner. Uncle Wiggily went, but the toad's house was so small that he couldn't get in until he made it bigger by scratching away some of the dirt around the front door. Then he had a very good dinner and he stayed all night at the toad family's house and watched the little ones hop some more and he and the papa toad talked about the weather well 
in the morning when uncle wiggily got up and washed his face and paws and combed out his whiskers he suddenly heard all the little toads crying hum suz dud he exclaimed some of them must have the toothache so he went downstairs and there all the toad family were sitting around the breakfast table but they weren't eating what's the matter asked uncle wiggily sadly like why said the papa toad the milkman hasn't come and the children have no milk for their oatmeal and i have none for my coffee and i'm in a hurry to get down to the store where i work that's too bad said the rabbit can you use condensed milk we haven't any spoke the mamma toad well i'll hop out and see if i can see the milkman coming said the rabbit for i can see a long distance so he went out and hopped up and down the street and he looked up and down but no milkman could he see and the little toads were getting hungrier and hungrier every minute and they cried a lot yes indeed this is too bad said uncle wiggily i guess that milkman must be lost what can i do ah i have it and away he hopped off toward the green fields pretty soon he came to where the cow who had nearly walked on the toads was eating grass and stepping up to her uncle wiggily politely asked will you please give me some milk for the toads to be sure i will said the cow kindly and i'm sorry i nearly stepped on them yesterday so she gave uncle wiggily a can full of fresh milk for the rabbit had brought the milk can out with him then uncle wiggily hopped to the toad house as fast as he could and the little toads had milk for their breakfast and didn't cry any more then after a while the milkman who was a big puppy dog came along and said he was sorry he was late but he couldn't help it because he had stepped on a thorn and had a lame foot and couldn't go fast so they forgave him well i'll travel along now i guess said uncle wiggily and once more he started off to seek his fortune and if you don't let your bathing suit fall into the water and get all wet i'll tell you next about uncle wiggily's swimming lesson end of story twenty